Western Atlantic Ocean, November 9, 2023. A third phase of F-35 Lightning to developmental test DT-3 flight trials aboard UK. Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers concluded over the weekend when to short takeoff vertical. Landing STOVL test jets launched from the HMS Prince of Wales RO9 ski jump following almost for weeks of flight test off the eastern seaboard of the United States. A Patuxent River F-35 Integrated Test Force Packs ITF detachment and two F-35BS completed DT-1 and DT-2 aboard HMS Queen Elizabeth R08 in 2018. These sea trials happened during the ship's ongoing autumn deployment to the Western Atlantic for Westland 23, which encompasses a range of UK and US naval aircraft trials. The flight test on HMS Prince of Wales, Britain's biggest warship, was conducted to gather data that will inform recommendations that could result in increased operational capability for the 65,000-ton ship for QEC carriers and for the fifth-generation Joint Strike Fighter aircraft. During October and early November, three test pilots flying to specially instrumented F-35B aircraft performed close to 150 short takeoffs as TOs, approximately for score vertical landings VLS, and almost 60 shipborne rolling vertical landings SRVLS, while PAX ITF flight test engineers collected data, compared it to models and made initial analyses. The last four weeks at sea have been the busiest HMS Prince of Wales has ever seen, said Royal Navy Captain Richard Hewitt, the ship's commanding officer. Watching the F-35B perform the first ever night, SRVL, was amazing and a real testament to the integration of the F-35 team and my ship's company. The test points achieved will not only improve UK F-35B operations, but those of our F-35B program partners and allies as well, Hewitt said. A key ally, the UK, is the only top partner of the seven international partners in the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter JSF program. The other six are Italy, the Netherlands, Canada, Australia, Denmark, and Norway. Additionally, there are currently nine foreign military sales customers. The ship's lead planner, who worked extensively with the PAX ITF during the preparations, onload, and execution of the flight trials, and whose air engineers worked hand-in-glove with the embarked test team shared his perspective. The integration of our teams to realize approximately 150 test points of the F-35B program will potentially increase the way the UK can operate the F-35, said Royal Navy LT, CDR, Jamie Elliott, Air Engineering Department Head, SRVL, Knight SRVL, and heavy load bombs test points yielded data that will inform any future decisions about the possible F-35B operational clearance to take off and land heavier, operate in heavier sea states, and turn the jets around faster for more sorties. One pilot who flew test missions during the sea trial shared why the experience was a memorable one to him. It was an excellent opportunity to have the privilege to fly aboard HMS Prince of Wales and participate in flight trials designed to contribute to pushing the boundaries of 21st century aircraft carrier operations, said Marine Madge, Alex Horn, F-35 test pilot, PAX ITF. Witnessing for sand the interoperability of the F-35 and the carrier in taxing conditions ranging from high deck motion to high winds over deck and from maximum weight launches to night operations will be a lasting memory credited to the dedicated men and women embarked for this trial. Before the first test point was achieved, much communication and coordination went into crafting a comprehensive test plan and concept of operations and readying everyone and the equipment. Through detailed planning, diligent preparation, and working closely together with the HMS Prince of Wales crew, we achieved highly successful flight tests during this detachment, said Andrew Mock, PAX River F-35 ITF Chief Test Engineer, who was embarked during the flight trials. We were honored to conduct these sea trials with our F-35 program Level I partner, as we worked together to deliver additional warfighting capability. 
I was proud of how the ITF team maintainers to pilots, engineers to logisticians, and security to information technology to detachment integrators collectively performed from day. 1. Mock added, team members recognized the value of our mission, appreciated the importance of this detachment, and committed to the hard work to ensure we accomplished safe, secure, and efficient flight tests aboard the UK's newest aircraft carrier. Engineers in disciplines like flying qualities, utilities, and subsystems, mission systems, propulsion, as well as flight test operations were part of the approximately 180-person team detached from the PAXITF. The carrier is currently alongside in Norfolk, Virginia, where it offloaded the PAX ITF team and their equipment. The Portsmouth based ship and her crew head back to sea soon to conduct further aviation trials before heading back across the Atlantic to England's south coast.